After they had passed the sirens, they entered a cave called the Cave of Death and Horrible Darkness caused by a six-headed sea serpent dragon cave. Now, the men did not know a thing about Scylla and Charybdos. No one did, because all who have returned back home to tell stories of those two creatures were dead. Odysseus was told his men to be on the guard. Like, men, we do not know what these things are, for all we know they could be hot women, like the sirens. Or they could be horrible monsters like the cyclops. But men, just be prepared, and if anything comes near me, you sacrifice yourselves to save me. You got it? Yes, sir! They entered the cave and lit a torch because it was very dark. Dark like my soul. And they lit the torch and the whole cave illuminated. And they noticed that there were holes all around the cave. Ones that reached out from the ceiling. And there were bones of the sailors that once passed through here. And the shipwrecked debris from the sails of modern warriors. And others such as that. And Odysseus was like, Men! This was a bad idea. Use the goat that we have on this boat for some reason as bait. Okay? Put it on that sandy patch of sand over there. So the men threw the goat over and it landed on the sand and was just goading around. And they watched. But then out of nowhere, this giant head came out of anywhere and then ate the goat. And the men started screaming like, What the fuck was that? What was that? The men were freaked out. And then Cowardly Joe, which I mentioned before, backed up near the edge of the boat. And another head came down and ate him. And all the men were screaming and they unsheathed their swords and were preparing for the unseen enemy that has been eating the goats and Cowardly Joe. Odysseus shouted, Ben, be careful, we do not know. And then another serpent head came out and ate one of these men. And like, okay, men, this is stupid. Just put your swords up in the air and maybe they'll jam their mouth on it or something. And then another one head came out and started eating them. And another and another. And until there was about, like, four men left on the boat. Odysseus, Javin, no, wait, Javin died. Uh, Charles, Fish, Tuna, Bacon, and corn cob were left and Odysseus was like men that made me poop but at least it's over and then tuna club sandwich was like wait what about crib no and then the boat fell over a waterfall and three of the men hit the water and Odysseus grabbed onto a branch and watched as a giant mouth opened up the sea and ate the three remaining men. Odysseus cried out, No! Why do the gods forsaken me? Why? I have done nothing to anger you all. You have been playing with my heart and my emotions and my friends for too long. I curse you all, you horrible things. I... Oh! Odysseus cried out to the heavens and he let go of the rope branch and he fell down into the waters below. Odysseus thought he was dead, but he awoke on an island. An island filled with naked women. This had been the island of Charybdos, the nymph of beauty who had lived with the only women on an island and they probably had hot lesbian sex every night and Odysseus looked around his new home and thought it's gonna be a while here wait for me Penelope I will return as soon as I can why Let's see what happens to Odysseus next time on The Odyssey Abridged.